In this video we'll learn how to change the shape and color of the controls of the Genoma 2 Ant preset rig. In this preset we have two different kind of controls. Visible ones like this one or this one and others that are created by a script automatically. If we take a look at this uh, shape here of this skeleton we can see this S. This S stands for script. This means that we have assigned uh, a script to to this genome item. So let's open the property properties panel and under the scripts tab we can notice there is a custom command create control in this case. Let's start with the visible controls. So let's say we want to change this uh, control here uh, from a box shape to a ball shape. I'm talking about the shape in layout, not in modeler. So uh, we'll be able to change the, the shape of, of this control in layout, uh, leaving uh, the, the, the current shape active. So if we want to change the shape of, of this uh, control, all we have to do is to select it and open the Genoma Properties panel. Under the Shape tab, we can see the item shape is set to box. So we can change it to bowl, for example, and then we can close the panel. Uh, you can see the shape is not changed, and uh, this is because there is an option here in the Genoma Properties panel, leave modular shape intact. This is very important because lets you uh, choose any item shape, any shape in, in modular for, for the item and have a different shape generated in, in layout. And you may want to have this kind of situation where the shape is different uh, to make uh, the rig in modular easy to edit. The same applies to, to color. You may have any color selected here and you know have a different color in in the OpenGL in modular. And we also have to consider that we have two different ways to set the color in layout from the scene editor and when we change the, the color here we are changing exactly that and from the item shape at the moment uh, the options all the options for uh, colors in the item shape are not set so what's what's important for this item at the moment is just the item color option here so let's change it to something else like for example orange and let's hit OK so you see nothing has changed, nor the color or, or the shape. But now if we I'm going to save it with you know another version. If we save the object and send it to layout and then we generate the rig. We can see how this control here it's now orange and of course it's shape it's a bowl. Now let's see how to do the same for the controls we are not seeing at the moment. So let's say we want to change uh, the shape and the color of the control uh, of the head. We select the head bone and open the properties panel and we can take a look now at the script here. We'll describe how to use this command here in some other advanced video. At the moment all you need to know is that you can change the shape simply replacing uh, the text here. So if you want a box you just write box and about the color this is the information about the color. So it's a number and if we take a look at the list of colors we can see the 10 if we you know we, we go counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is green. If we want it to be 
red, for example, we just have to set uh, the, that value to 12 in this case, so 10, 11, 12. So scripts, whoops, 12. So now we can save the object, switch to layout, take a look at the, the control here and with the object, the main object selected, we can now update the rig. And we got what we wanted, a red box. Now a very last quick note about editing the rig. For example, if you are going to rotate the a leg, do not forget that the position of the pole vector here, this I mean this item here, is very important. It should always be aligned to to the whole leg. There are other some other items that are whose purpose is to align, keep items aligned, like for example this one. You see it's just in the middle of the mandible skeletons and this is very important because this means that the bank of these of all those bonds here will be oriented towards this uh, this this item we'll go deeper into genoma rigging in some upcoming videos describing how to build this kind of advanced character setup and make them available to any kind of user we're going to see more and more of these presets available in the future, covering any kind of creature. Coming next is a human biped preset perfect to be used in Unity. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.